Watch Mitchell Dillman Steel and Woodworking on Amazon Fire TV. Man, we're gonna need a bigger wagon. got everything cut. We decided to use this 11 gauge 2x4 rectangular tubing for our main frame. We've got some 4 inch round tubing that we're going to use for spacers. We'll be bolting the whole thing, bolting all the wheels on using these 7 16 all thread. So first thing we're going to do is get these ends capped off. Then we'll get this thing welded up. All right, so here's a quick look at the secret weapon we've got that's gonna make this big heavy frame a little more maneuverable out there in the yard. You can see here I've cut these two center axles an inch taller than the outside four. So that's gonna enable us to put this center wheel on the solid axle, a little pivot. So here's what I've come up with for a handle on this thing. Got a couple of options here. We can cut this any length we want. If you're gonna be towing it behind an ATV or a truck or something, it'd be really simple to do that. But since we're gonna be hauling it around by hand, I'm just gonna put a handle on it. And I've cut this to length so that it's gonna act like a kickstand. You're gonna lock this thing in place.
let's get this little one out of the way. Yep, I'll bet this works a whole lot better than that little one. It's gonna last a lifetime too. If you want the full detailed cut list and blueprint on how to put this thing together, head over to logfurniturehowto.com. Click subscribe. Come back and see me the same time next week. Thanks for watching. We'll see you then.